I think I finally figured it out. Stay tuned, I'll tell you what I mean. Welcome back everyone. Welcome to another episode of Exploring Paradise, your guide to Florida's West Coast. My name is Mike Rennick. I am your host for this video. Let's talk about libraries. We've done a few videos here and I'll be candid. I'm wondering why in today's age of technology, why a physical brick and mortar library might be necessary. So here's what I've learned. So we know the library's coming. It's set to open its doors in late 2026 here on Longboat Key. This will be the first county operated library on the island adding to Sarasota County's existing 10 library system. So over the years, libraries have transformed those significantly from offering far more than just books. So as we know in the past, in the old days, back when, when I was growing up, you'd go to the library, you check out a book, you read it, take it back. So in addition, today they're becoming what's called community hubs. So they offer a wide variety of resources and activities. Visitors can still borrow books, but they may also choose to attend author talks, use a sewing machine, that'd be interesting if I tried that, or join a tech workshop. For instance, Sarasota County's libraries welcomed 1.3 million visitors in 2023, loaned out 2.3 million items, and facilita facilitated about 2 million Wi-Fi sessions. They also provided technology training to approximately 1,500 individuals, reflecting the growing demand. So if you look at it, it's a lot more than books. So libraries have embraced technology from the beginning. Modern libraries provide internet access, free use of computer equipment, online research databases, and eBooks. They also have transformed their space into collective areas for meetings, um, for research, uh, creative activities, like using 3D printers, sewing machines, and so on. The creation of maker spaces in the early 210s marked the beginning of the significant shift. These areas encourage creativity and learning with libraries hosting workshops and offering one-on-one -on -one tech training. People believe that this is the future of the libraries, that's why this is needed. So if we continue to look at this kind of stuff and how it's evolving, maybe this is a good thing. Down below, you're welcome to share your thoughts on this, but it is moving forward. Library will be open here on Longboat Key, like I said, in 2026, but it'll be much more. It may be a community draw, maybe a hub, or maybe a center. We can check out books, we can learn things, we can meet our neighbors, whatever. But so I think at least I'm understanding where libraries are headed. I'll be candid, I haven't been in a library in years. Back a long time ago when I got my master's degree, I had to write a thesis. All my research was done online. None of it was done in the physical library. And that was many, many years ago and things have changed since then. So wanted to bring the latest update. I'll be back as more information is available. Again, if you have any questions, my name is Mike Rennick. My personal, my direct cell is 941 400 8735. Until next time, thanks for watching everyone.